All right, hey there, Aries. So we are doing the weekly singles read for y'all. The intention is for those of you who are not in union. However, if you've just met somebody and the storyline is sticking, you feeling it, and then the messages are for you. All right, so who is coming towards Aries? Who is coming towards Aries? We have the seven of wands. Um, this is um, probably somebody who's been through a lot of challenges. All right, guys, they've had to face a lot, um, but also too, they could be um, somebody who I don't want to say combative, but when it comes to the how they believe or how they feel about something, they probably stand up, you know, for what they believe in. And I feel like it's probably with passion, not that they're. Um, in the same context trying to be argumentative um but this person they could they probably could be um you know like if you guys are talking right and then it's like uh the topic gets to be a, about something you know it, it could be politics or religion or whatever and they sound like they're arguing it's not so much that they're arguing but more that they have a passion about their belief okay or it could just be that this person is mouthy and they like to they like to argue um it could be because of some of the past challenges that they've had to face or, or whatever. I mean, they could have been somebody who is quiet, who comes out of their shell, you know? So what else can we um, see about this person who is coming towards Aries? Um... We have the two of inspiration. So I'm almost feeling like it could be another fire sign or they could have a lot of fire in their chart. Um, the two of wands, this is about um, um, kind of being at a crossroads, uh, not knowing which road to take, not knowing which path to take. So um, I feel like this person that you're going to be meeting um, throughout their life, throughout periods of their life, they could have just been... Um, I almost feel like they've had a lot of hardships, okay? Um, they've always been, and it's not stuck in the middle, but just trying to find um, the path in life that they should be on. Maybe questioning it, maybe asking, who am I, you know, why am I here? Um, stuff that's came through all of our minds. But um, the Two of Wands paired with the Seven of Wands. I feel like this person, they've just been through a lot. All right, and it's not, and I'm not trying to say that they're not um, going to be uh, healed, healthy, or whole when, when you guys meet. Um, I just feel like they've had a lot of uh, challenges that they've had to endure. So for Aquarius and this person, will the attraction be instant? So we have the Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. All right. Um, it, this could be somebody that um, you, it, I, I have a feeling that you guys um, have maybe known each other before. Um, you guys could actually be like friends on social media. All right. And I feel like there could be a perception, um, a, a, mis, um, um, a perception about one another um, before you actually even um, meet. It's like just because we are... Uh, friends on a social network it doesn't mean that we know um, who each other is you know what I mean how one of the one or the other is um, I feel like um, I feel like the the potential for an instant attraction is there but I feel like you guys don't see it within each other right away um, I feel like one of you guys has had and I feel like it's them obviously I feel like they've had their eye on you um, and you might not even know who this person is. Um, and if you know who they are, you don't know them, know them, and you don't know that they're actually interested in you, Aries. All right. So hang on. Okay. 
So what is this person like? We know who's coming towards Aries. We've got some description. What more? What is this person like? What is this person like? What's their energy? What is their energy? Okay, so we have um, the Hermit card coming out with the um, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Emotions. All right, so um, I feel like um, just based off of the energy that comes through with, with the, um, will the energy be, attra um, will the attraction be instant? Um, I feel like this person kind of hides their feelings. Like they've, I feel like they've been, um, looking at your social media or something like checking you out. Um, then we have the two of wands and the ace of wands. I feel like with what they've been through in the past, this person could be more of an introvert. Okay. Um, I, I do feel like they've, they've had a lot of challenges that they've had to face and that's kind of why they've gone inside and, and done the self-reflection. Um, they probably, um, are, uh, spiritually, um, connected or have, um, a, a, I feel like a strong spiritual belief. All right. When it comes to, um, uh, I really don't feel like it's religious. I feel like it's more spiritual. Um, but I almost feel like they don't talk about that a lot because of whoever it is that is in their circle, if they have anybody, or it could just be that they, um, they don't want to share their beliefs because of how the, you know, how the outside world is. Um, but they do want love. All right. I feel like it's like if we had an end goal, right? This it's on this person's mind heavily. Um, and with the Ace of Cups, this is a new beginnings. This is starting something new. This is starting something new in love. Um, this is somebody who wants to divulge it and give, you know, and receive it um, all in the same. Um, I feel like this energy is, it's like a, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And I feel like that's the kind of energy this person is. Um, and I feel like they probably had some past pains and the seven of wands and the two of wands, I feel like it's because of love. And it's like, this person is just like, all I want is love. You know, I just want to give it, um, how I know I can give it and I want to receive it how it should be, um, received. You know, I feel like this person has a lot to offer when it comes to emotions and emotional stability. I don't feel like this person is emotionally, um, closed off or, you know, um, void. So let's see what this romance angels are going to say about this for Aries. What kind of relationship is this going to be? All right. So I feel like currently the situation is this person is being pulled. All right, they, they, it's almost like they are too shy, you know, with the hermit, they're too shy, um, to approach you, but I feel like their, their team is, is, um, they're putting the word in this person's ear. Okay. I just feel like, um, it's this person getting over their initial, um, scared, um, phase to reach out to you. Right. It, because this is more for people who could be in, in union, I feel like this person is just scared to reach out because they're afraid of rejection because of how I feel about, you know, um, what's gone on in the past. And, you know, with the two of pentacles, they could have been through some, some, um, um, tribulations when it comes to their partners, not being faithful or honest. Um, two, you guys could be seeing, um, two, 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 two a lot. All right. Um, but I feel like this person, they are going to come out of their little shell, their little hermit phase, and um, they're going to tell you how they feel. All right. I feel like um, if you guys are friends on, on social media, um, I feel like you're going to be like, whoa, I, I had no idea that you were even like, I almost feel like it's one of those situations where you're, you're friends on there, but you don't know each other very well. So for Aries, what are the challenges? What are the challenges? that this union could face. Okay, so we have the three of voices, which is the three of swords. All right, so challenges could be that either you or them have endured a lot of this heartbreak. And it doesn't have to be just relationships. It could be um, 
that you guys have, um, it, you know, family members, mom, dad, brother, sisters, cousins, aunts and uncles, you know, um, I feel like the challenge is, is you guys getting over those past pains and Aries, um, the intention I set when I do these readings is, um, and maybe I need to start meditating differently, but what I do is the intention I set is for those of you who are ready to find love, who are ready to receive love. Okay. And I guess one thing I haven't really focused on was, um, uh, calling in people that are just in alignment, you know, just as an alignment. So I feel like, um, the challenges could be too that you guys might face some of this heartbreak while you are new and it's not between each other but it's like one of you guys could have a relative that's near and dear to your heart pass or um you, you know you get fired from your job and and um, somebody retracts you know it's or, or you you not get fired i'm not trying to put negative out there but something could happen during the union that kind of makes you guys go back in and uh, be introverted or withdrawn or in hermit mode okay um i feel like with the three of swords coming out and the challenges it's learning how to um cope with um, those life situations and being prepared for it and i feel like heart to heart conversations comes out because it's like when you guys start getting serious um i feel like that's important like i was in a relationship for five years and um you know my ex had um a big heart and it's like well what, what's going to happen like if you know a dog dies or your your parents do you know because of old age or whatever and we never even talked about that but you know we're not together anymore but i mean i would have hated to be there because of the fact of never talking about stuff and then um communication itself is hard you know especially when you get all deep it's like um and when people have been through a lot they don't know how to open up um and i feel like Aries for whoever I'm talking to I feel like communication is going to be important to you especially about big stuff because what if you what if you're in a relationship for two years right and then you guys come across that bridge how how do you react to somebody when you don't know their reaction you know all you want to do is be there for them but then they pull their energy away and the more you go to them the more they pull away you know that it's complicated so what are the favorable situations the favorable influences for Aries and this person. What's some favorable? We have um, the Four of Emotions, the Four of Cups. Um, so I feel like this card is coming out because it's like, you know, where you guys have probably uh, both faced um, um, situations where um, you've made offers. And I, I feel like this is about rejection. I feel like it's like you guys are going to have this in common where you guys have both faced rejection. You guys have both um, faced past pains and hurts when it comes to actual love situations. Um, but I feel like your team is saying, but that's going to be over with when you meet this person. Um, and I feel like that's very, it's a, that's a good feeling to have, man, because it's like, a, you know, even if you uh, know this person, you have a crush on them, but you have no idea that they are feeling you the same way. Um, I feel like your team is saying there's not going to be any fear. Um, I don't feel like there's any negative energy here either because we have that Ace of Cups as their intention, you know. And I feel like that's that's. Uh, I feel like that's going to be huge for you, Aries. I feel like you haven't experienced somebody like this in a while. So what is the advice for Aries? What's Aries' advice? So um, the advice coming out for you, Aries, is we have the Empress card. All right. And I feel like this is coming out as a combined energy, um, just knowing that everything is going to be okay between you and this person. Um, when you guys meet, I feel like it's going to be successful. I feel like there's going to be a long road behind this union. Okay. Um, I, one of the last questions I'm going to ask is, um, is there, is this going to be happy ever after? Is this going to be long-term commitment? All right. And I feel like this right here is just a confirmation in that this is going to be a very deep connection, um, where you guys don't have kids. I feel like this has the potential to have chip, you know, have kids get married. Um, this is divine feminine energy right here. Um, this is like, this is like, I'm done with the fake stuff. Let's bring on the new, your team is saying you guys are going to have that in within each other and look at, I feel like there's two, there's going to be some healing right there. Um, I want to say, I feel like that's the heart chakra area. Um, 
but I almost feel like it's centered in between heart and solar plexus. But I, well, either way, um, I feel like you guys are going to um, experience a lot of healing together. A lot. And I feel like that's good. So for Aries, is this going to be long-term commitment? What's the outcome? What is the outcome of this union? Oh, snap. Look at you guys. Six of inspiration, six of wands energy. That's victory, success. That's uh, winning, man. Winning. Do I even need to say any more about that? Do you guys know that what the six of wands is? You know, the victory card. Moving forward, not looking back, right? Making stuff go um, forward, spinning those wheels, man. So for Aries, when, not when, but where or how will they meet this person? Where or how do they meet this person? I'm pretty sure I have a, a, an inkling. We have the Seven of Swords coming out. Um, and it, I'm just looking at the picture. I mean, um, um, so what I'm feeling with this card is um, to be honest, I, I, I feel like it's going to be some sort of um, a class. Okay, and I know that that sounds weird based off the picture, but um, also thinking about the interpretation of the card, um, I almost feel like it's a class or it's, it's like one of those, um, uh, not a class that you are um, like mandated to attend. All right, I feel like this is a volunteer, something volunteer. And um, the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel... Um, a lot of um, self-help vibe from this reading for you guys. I feel a lot of uh, like um, like self-help, you know, it's like you guys have worked a long way to get here to put um, negative energy from the past, you know, to, to rest. And I, I can't help but feel like I, it's like, because the seven of voices, this is about um, um, lies, deceit, deception. This is somebody taking something away from you. All right. And I almost feel like you guys are in this energy where it's like um, you're taking something or doing something to better yourself. Or to put the stuff from the past in the past. All right. So I almost feel like it's a, a um, and I know we have COVID, so it's hard to attend stuff in class, but there are some places out there that are still, um, um, you know, open to the public. And I, I feel like, um, I feel like you guys are, are physically going to meet and I feel like it's going to be at some sort of um, a self-help and it could be just um, therapeutic, you know, a painting class, a cooking class or something. I feel like there is something to do with bettering your guys' self, like a self-help. I don't know if that's, I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm going to roll um, the dice. Okay, um, 10, 11, 12 is October, November, December, everything else. The intention was set for days or weeks on the die. Um, and then I'll roll this one a couple of times to get the signs that you're going to be dealing with. Okay, so we have December coming out. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Pisces. We have Pisces. Um, Taurus energy. And Virgo. All right, Aries. So Pisces, um, Taurus, and Virgo energies. Um could be prominent in their chart. I feel like it's going to be their sun sign, Pisces, Taurus, or Virgo. All right. And then let's get some initials. The initials are going to be yours or their first, middle, or last. doesn't have to be, um, if you feel the storyline is resonating, um, think about any past loved ones that could be um, sending you guys messages if you or your messages or their messages are not in here. Okay. So we have initial G, R, N, N, K, T, and S. All right. Remember, guys, December. All right. You're going to be coming into union with somebody on or before um, December 31st, 2020. 
Um, and when I do intention, it's on or before. All right. So any, any time, any time between now and December 31st, um, you know what, honestly, when you're loving life, time does not, does time does not go by slow. I'm going to tell you that. So just stay high vibration, manifest the person towards you. Um, and if you feel like you, any of this, um, reading is is resonating with you then i feel like it's your story guys so i'm gonna leave it right there and i will talk to you soon